So, uh, right now, we have only the option to play with two human players. In this super cool video, we'll make this guy over here move by itself. So let me maximize this. And let's start by creating a boolean-like variable to keep track if the pedal is being controlled by the AI. So, this AI control DB Let's start with zero. It is pulled in variable is the right pedal controlled by the AI. Now, where we are moving the right pedal, let me search for that. This is for the left pedal. So right here, we'll check for that variable and we'll only check for key input if the pedal is not controlled by the AI. So let's create a label for all this key checking. Check for keys. Let's refactor this. And right above this label, this check for the key input, we'll check for the value of the AI controlled variable. So we do a comparison with CMP and check if it's true, if it's one and it's controlled by the AI. If it's controlled by the AI, we jump to a new label called control by AI. And if it's any other thing, if it's zero, we'll continue and check for the key input. Let's create now the label. And here we will... Um, let me just uh, comment this first. Maybe I'll comment this first to the check for keys label and this will be when the pedal is controlled by the user pressing a key and this label right here this control by AI label will be when the pedal is controlled by the AI. So here in this label we'll just check if the ball is above the pedal. So what this means is that remember that the ball Y plus the ball size is less than the pedal right. Y. Let me change this to Y. And remember that the top Y coordinate is zero. And if it is, then we move then we move the pedal up. Then we also need to check if it's not above, if it's below the pedal. We check if the ball is below the pedal. So the ball Y is greater than the pedal right Y plus the pedal height and again if it is this time we move the pedal down and if none of these conditions are true then we don't do nothing at all we don't move the pedal 
is simple. So the petal will stay in the same place, basically. So let's start coding this. Let's start by the comparison. So we move to the AX register, the ball Y. And then add the ball size. And finally, we compare with the pedal right Y. If it's less, we just move the right pedal up. So now the other comparison is the same. So we move to the AX register, the pedal right Y, add the pedal height, and then we compare to the ball Y. Again, if it's less, this time we move the right pedal down. So it's done, the two comparisons, and if none of this is true, we just exit the pedal movement. So I guess it's all done right here. This control by AI label. So let me now modify the main menu option so we can select the option to play against the AI. So here on the start multiplayer that we left as to do, we'll set the current scene to the game as we did with a single player option. So we move to the current scene variable, the value 1, to the game. We set the game as active, as 1, and then we make the pedal control by the AI. So we do move AI controlled and we do the value 0, 1. We also need to make sure to make this to the other option. And awesome, so let's test this and see our awesome AI moving the pedal by itself, I hope. <laughs> so let's test this and here we go. So yeah, the pedal is moving by itself. Let's see if I can win the game, at least score a point. Or no. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's done. I think it's done. Let's make the AI win the game so we can restart and see if everything works like expected. Here we go, player 2 1. We press the R key just to play again. And there we go. Uh, 